Scorpios, I am back. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. All right, so Collective, we're going to jump into this reading. I'm not sure what's going to come out, so of course we're always surprised when it comes out. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're new, welcome. You can have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. This reading may resonate with you. If not, take a look at your birth charts, your top three, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, okay? And I do have plenty of other videos for you guys to take a look at as well, okay? All right, so I want to welcome in the Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael into this reading to shield and protect me and also bring clarity to my fellow Scorpios, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please return any dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, any type of blockages away from myself, my channel, my Scorpio, and their loved ones. Please return the energy back to sender. 10,000 foes. So more to be. Amen and amen. All right, guys. So I want to clear out the energy from the previous reading. So let's see what we got here. All right. I also want to welcome in our Ascended Masters, our City and Guardian Angels, all of our galactic family from the universe as well. Okay. All right, so let's see what we got. Spirit, angels, and God, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Channel message reading. What do we have for Scorpios? What do we have for Scorpios? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Show me what I need to see for Scorpios. Why can't I pick the cards up? <laughs> I've been in a good mood all day. I'm sorry, y'all. On my last live, I was just giggling. And I'm telling you, I haven't felt like that, like giggly on a live in a long time. Actually, you know what? That might have been my first time. Like really just a giggle, like a laughing spirit. Wow. All right. So let's, let's see what we have here, okay? Spirit, angels, and guys, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. But I'm definitely in a good mood today. I am. I feel like I am like running like crazy. Like I'm, you know, pick up my son from work. My daughter's like, oh, she's such a baby. She's like, oh, could you pick me up from school? Then I took my, I actually took my youngest son, guys. He tried for his permit today and he did not pass on the first try. And he is so upset about that. Oh my gosh. I'm like, it's okay. It took me like four or five times just to get mine. Yeah. But I had some mom and son mamas today because I'm always... You know, doing things with my oldest son and my daughter. So I wanted to give him his time, you know, took him to get something to eat. And we just had a mom and son moment today. It was all about him today. Yeah. All right. What do we got for Scorpio? All right. Oh. All right. So this, this card actually want to come out. So I'm going to bring this back out. So I'm going to leave this here. All right, so we have two cards here. So we have snake energy. All right, and then we also have here finding myself. And we also have another card here that was trying to come out with this one. So I'm going to bring it out. We have a, a channel message reading from some a channel message reading. A channel message from someone that says, nothing I seem to do stops the pain of losing you. Child, nothing I do stops the pain, pain of losing you. Okay. So snake energy. So you may have someone around you that is in that like seven of swords energy. This is someone who's very sneaky, deceptive, a liar. And then we also have finding myself. So this is giving me like someone is actually on a spiritual journey. This is giving me like the hermit energy. Someone spent a lot of time by themselves, healing, restoring, gaining that like inner guidance, you know, reading books and educating themselves, really trying to understand who they are and their purpose in this lifetime. Okay with nothing i seem to do stops the pain of losing you so we got someone here this can't be a new person right this is a past person so this person could be going out with other women other men sleeping with other people to try to get over you drinking smoking traveling just doing everything to keep themselves busy because they're basically saying here nothing i do it seems to stop me or stop the pain of losing you. Yeah. All right. Wow. That's crazy. Remember, I just said that temporary pain. Yeah. Someone either is trying to get over you by dealing with other women, 
dealing with other men, sleeping around, just trying to do whatever they can to get over you. It's that shit ain't working. Unfortunately, it's not working. All right, so let's dive in. All right, spirit, interesting guys. Tell me about snake energy for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me what I need to see. And also, guys, don't forget to thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Oh, my damn nose is bothering me today, guys. I am so sorry. It's not like running, but it's like I'm feeling like a stuffy energy. So when I like hit my nose, it kind of like loosens up. <laughs> kind of like opening up the canal. And as you see, I have a little small nose. So. All right, tell me about snake energy, spirit, angels, guys, ancestors. Tell me about snake energy for Scorpio. All right, so we have the hangman. All right, Pisces energy. Whoever this snake energy is, this is someone that looks like you let go. You surrender to this, or I should say you... Yes, you release and let them go, but also whoever's in that snake energy, it's almost like, this is like you're getting caught up almost. Yeah. We got the four swords here. Hmm. Four swords. Yeah, it seems like you let someone go and you feel like it was best for you guys to separate. You feel more at peace that now that the snake energy is not around you anymore. We have justice at the bottom of the deck. Whoever the snake person is who try to one-up you, sneak around, cheat on you, manipulate you, lie on you, they're getting karma. Yeah, this is justice being served. Wow, the king of swords and justice. This is your spirit team. Archangel Michael has stepped in. The universe is giving spiritual law to someone. They're going to hold their feet to the fire while you guys enjoy the fruits of your labor and just be single and focus on you right now. Yep, this cycle has closed. The world card. Yeah. Yep, you separated yourself. This can be family, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone that try to go against you. The universe has stepped in. Archangel Michael, your whole spirit team has stepped in. Yeah. Tell me about finding myself. The number 12 may be significant to you or the number 3. <clears throat> Tell me about finding myself, spirit. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Oh, too many, too many. Finding myself. Thank you. Hmm. All right. So we got the king of pentacles here. This is a masculine here that's trying to really find himself. This could be someone who's really trying to build his empire. Maybe start a business. Furnish his own things. This is someone who's kind of like, seem like someone here is like materialistic. It's about the riches, the gold, the money. Yeah. <laughs> Queen of Swords. <laughs> Scorpio, you cut this masculine off. While they you say go ahead and find yourself. You just stay your ass away from me. Yep. So this masculine is or whoever this is. This can be a female. The Knight of Cups and the Four of Cups. You see how he coming in with that little cup in his hand? And that same cup is on that table. And the person is like, I don't want this cup. Mm -mm. You broke my heart. You left me waiting. You left me waiting when I gave you so much. I supported you. I was there for you. I helped you start this business. Now, I don't want anything else to do with you anymore. I'm okay with being single. Yep. And closing the cycle because why? I know my value. I know my worth. Yep. The Empress. <laughs> it seems like someone is trying to find themselves in the material world. Money, cars, big houses. It seems like someone finds their ident identity with money, riches, goals, you know, materialistic things. Tell me about finding myself. Spirit, too many, too many. Finding myself, okay. Five of Cups. This money, this house, these cars, the jewelry, the fashion designer clothes, all that shit is not going to matter because you know why? It seems to me, even though they're drowning themselves with riches and goals and expensive trips and hard cars and houses, they still sad behind the scenes. They still crying over spilt milk. What has already been done? Yeah. Still crying behind the scenes. Yep. Fighting inner demons within themselves. Going through so much defeat. Because this person feels rejected. Yep. Even though, again, they're still trying to bring you this cup. This emotion is trying to follow their heart towards you. You're like, no, I don't want to hear it. 
tell me about nothing I seems to do stops the pain of losing you. Yeah, that's why I said I felt this earlier. Like someone is with that King of Pentacles is like someone is trying to, you know, either maybe overwork themselves or get so much money. This is like someone who's insecure. So they try to use cars, money, other women, riches go. This is like someone who covers up what they really feel about themselves. But deep down inside, this masculine who's acting all tough or I got all the money in the world, you know, my paycheck is three, four thousand dollars every week. It's like, OK, sir, the money looks good or ma'am. But deep down inside, you still crying with spilled milk. You still have some type of loss that you're still dealing with. This is like someone masking up their pain. That's why it goes in and say. And that's why that card try to come out. And that's crazy. Remember I said temporary pain? Yeah, someone is trying to cover up their insecurities. Nothing I seems to do. Stop the pain of losing you. Show me what I need to see. <laughs> Scorpio, I'm sick of y'all. Y'all this queen of swords again. Going into the month of November. Yeah, you have set some very strong boundaries. You're like, listen, I'm not going to keep putting up with the same thing over and over. Male or female with the Queen of Swords. I don't, again, it's not that you're not wanting to talk to these people. For any of the readings that you guys came out with the Queen of Swords, right? It's not that you don't want to talk to these people. It's just, at this point, you have built this wall where you're not about to play with me again. You know? Scorpio, you don't call judgment on this person. You made your mind up where you stand here. Tell me more. Nothing I seem to do stops the pain of losing you. Child, you done cut this person off and you walked away. You walked away. You left everything behind that came with this person. The feelings, the love, the emotions. You left it all. You left it all here. Yep, you put this situation to an end. And right now, you are focusing on yourself, working on yourself, keeping yourself in high vibration. Loving on you right now, pouring all this love that you gave to this person into you. Mm -hmm. Wow, this person is going to reach out to you, Scorpio. Page of Wands and the um, Five of, what is this? Five of Pentacles, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was a Five of Cups, but it already came out. Five of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. Thank you, Spirit. That was a sign. This person is going to reach out to you, crying on the phone, upset, bothered, because they miss you. They're missing you. They feel so, ab so abandoned now that you don't set up these walls. I'm telling you, this person is creating temporary setups to make themselves feel good. With that temporary pain, I, you know what's crazy? Now that I look at that again, I may have said it wrong the first time, but forgive me. Okay. With the temporary pain, this seems like this person could have thought that this situation between you guys was only going to be temporary. Yeah, I feel like they thought this was going to only be temporary between you and them. Yeah. But this door is closed now. And now that the relationship is over, you slam the door in their face and you walk away. They're in their feelings. And again, here go that snake energy, seven of swords. Yeah. They're trying to strategize a way to come back towards you, Scorpio. But you're not trying to hear. You got your, your guards up. You're protecting your, you're keeping your energy in a protection mode. Again, you're that queen of swords. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that same snake energy. So this person is trying to find a way to get back to you after you separated yourself and walked away. You surrender. You let it go. You let go and let God. And now you're able to rest more, relax your energy. You don't feel that tense, tense energy with this person anymore. You're able to just be yourself now. But yeah, this person is really... It's like they're trying to find themselves through money, through things, materialistic things, you know? Yeah. All right, Scorpio. So this was a quick message I want to bring to you guys. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. I hope you guys took something away. So your person can be, I'll say, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Scorpio, you may have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in your chart. And, of course, Scorpio, you're here with the Eight of Cups. Hmm. With the hangman, I just feel like that's, even though it represents Pisces, but I don't feel like your person is a Pisces here. That is the energy that what happened in the situation. You end up letting them go and taking a break from this person. So your person is coming out as that king of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is what I have. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.